I'm kind of tempted to take that little bit of pillow with me. <laughs> you got yeah. your keys? On my pockets. Okay, you got your you got my hospital bag. Got Glenn's diaper bag. It's pretty bad when you need two diaper bags. Yeah. Get this show on the road, Daddy. We're about to go to the hospital. Gage is with Michael's mom, and we're gonna have a second son. Oh yeah. It seems uh, like last night it finally hit that it's today. Like it's crazy. We're not gonna have just Gage anymore. Yeah. It's all coming into place. Holy. In a couple hours, our baby's gonna be born. Ready to do the two, two hour feedings again. What about you? This is gonna be different this time because with Gage, we slept when he slept. But with Glenn, we can't do that because Gage will be awake. Yep. Man, I love sleep. I enjoy sleep. I need sleep to survive. I don't get enough sleep now with just one kid. I don't know what I'm gonna do with two. Oh, we're here. We're here. Right now. I'm nervous. I don't think you're ever fully ready for a baby, no matter how many babies you had. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to see his little face. Have you been around people that have COVID, have any symptoms? No. I do worry about my C-section. Being in high-risk pregnancy, I'm just really scared. This one is, if you agreed to have blood, not that we think that's where it's going to go, but it's a just-in-case. Anything can happen, like you can bleed to death, um, you won't come out from the anesthesia. How much longer? Uh, not too much longer. Hopefully, if something happens to me, they can get this baby out safely. You nervous? <laughs> I don't care what happens to me. You make sure my son's alive. <laughs> With your little waddle. glad we get to come see Amanda. You know, we used to fight so much when we was kids, and now she's pretty cool, actually, in her old age. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, knock, knock. Sorry, didn't No, knock. it's all right. Hey, Iris. When we get together, we always feel better. So today, we went to Amanda's because we're getting a little antsy, waiting to hear back about Amy and the baby. Because we should be done hearing something by now. She had to be a doctor at like 6 o'clock this morning. It's like 10. We ought to hear something by now. In this situation, I'm kind of hoping no news is good news. Yeah, you know? I'm just getting antsy. I guess hell, I've waited forever. What? I've been waiting nine months for this. <laughs> good grief. You know, you'd be the... Tammy's calling. Hello, bitch. Hey, bitch. So, have you heard anything from Amy? I thought she should have done had the baby by now. The longer I wait, the more I get worried. If you remember, Gage had complications. Yeah, they had to get him warmed up, put him in a warmer, and then get his blood sugar together. But I'm just ready for the phone call that she's okay. Amy's giving birth today. I wish that I could be in the hospital with her. I don't want to be in the room. That's Michael's thing. But I want to be there, you know. I was for all the kids, nephews, nieces, except for Gage because of COVID. I guess if I hear anything, I'll give you a call back. I'm anxious. I mean, she's had the gastric bypass. She's had a cesarean. Um, she has high blood pressure. She's got some diabetes issues going on. It is a very serious surgery. So, you know, we're extremely worried about her. I'm waiting for a phone call. I can't help it. Amy went in a six-section at about 7.15 this morning. The doctor wonders about 
the complications because of their weight. But the, thankfully, everything went, went great. We just had the baby. Yeah, he's six, seven. He was five pounds, 11 ounces. Baby's doing fine, healthy. She's doing fine. She's in recovery. I'm excited. I, he's here. I want to be on. The surgery went great. I remember going in, them giving me the shot, laying me down. And then I heard him cry. He's so cute. And then next thing I know, the doctor screamed out, he's peeing, he's peeing, and tried to hand him to Michael real quick so he didn't pee on Michael. <laughs> and it was just funny. He goes, you got to quit having babies. <laughs> Your babies always pee or fart on me. My precious baby. We're doing skin to skin. I'm just so glad he's here. Like, I see a little bit of me and a little bit of Michael in him, and he's just, like, perfect. Look how much hair he's got. You know, I can see his future, whether it be football player, he could be president. My heart is full. Being a mom is what I wanted to do since I was five years old. And I've always wanted two kids. Now our family is finally complete. We can put us in a frame and hang us on the wall now. <laughs> this is them. Hey, are you feeling okay? Are y'all all right? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you look bad, girl. <laughs> I'm just playing. She looks bad all the time. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at the baby. Oh, my God. The new baby is here, um, baby Glenn. And he is just, he's perfect. He's perfect. And I'm grateful and thankful they're both OK. And I have another baby now. <laughs> Look, Uncle Chris. You did good, sis. You did good. I'm extremely happy for Amy being able to fulfill her dream of being a mother. You know, if you look back a couple years ago, she was at her heaviest point. 406. If she wouldn't have changed her life, she'd have never made this go. All right, I'm going to get off here. You take care of that baby girl and yourself, too. All right, love y'all. Love you, too. Bye. Bye, Bye, Michael. We got a new baby, y'all. He's hanging somewhere. I think he looks a lot like me and Amy. Or Gage come out the womb looking like Michael. But he still does. Even though he's cute. <laughs> I'm literally sitting on the toilet. Oh well, nobody can tell. Okay. You just looks like you on the wall. I'm so glad Tammy's alive to meet Glenn and the fact that. I just got my family in my dreams. And now she might actually get the surgery. It's a big accomplishment for both of us. It's just amazing. Did you get my text? No. Is this text? No. I wake myself. Yeah. Uh, we can have a new career. Yeah. I wait 5.34. <clears throat> Today, I'm 5'22". 
Bitch, I just had a child pull from my belly and you're talking about, ooh, I lost two pounds. Today is not about you and your two pounds. It's about my son. It's his birthday. Get your act together, bitch. Come home to these kids. I want to get off here. I love you. Like, you bitch making my butt now. Now that I have Glenn here, it's just like, damn, I did it. <coughs> but now daddy could take over because Bobby needs a nap.